Is it possible to meet the Escapist 2 without gaining any heat at all? This is part 2 of a two part series and in the previous one we attempted the first six prisons and we are starting now on Fort Tundra. Port Tundra is the first of the hard difficulty prisons. It's pretty well protected with a wall and an electric fence, so this will be pretty difficult. So what I'm planning to do is probably do a perimeter break again. What I might do though, I might get the blacksmith job and I might be able to dig from there to get her. I need 50 strength, 80 intellect. Oh, that's going to be a pain to get. Alright, it's exercise at the moment so I can get my strength up. So my thoughts of Fort Tundra as a prison in general, it's pretty standard, I guess. There's not really that much to worry about. One problem is the way the cells are positioned, like big rooms like this. It means I can't just quickly pop in and out of areas. Shower. Oh, that's not great. That's quite a run. I think I need to get there before it reaches 20 minutes fast. And I barely did it. Oh, 50 strength, 80 intellect. Do I qualify? Blacksmith. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, of course, the reason I need this job. It's going to allow me to access a room which is pretty safe and close to the edge of the prison. Right here. I also get metal sheets from this which I'd even consider. Alright, give me stuff from just to this search. And of course I've basically got all the uh, all the intellect I need. I'm searching two desks, I've got a flint, well, lightweight shovel already. I'm getting into the habit of just checking the map each time I go into, like, the cells now. Just to make sure there are no guards nearby. Okay, so, alright, that's a bit of a problem. I didn't realise guards came into here. He didn't properly come out, he just sort of glanced around. Alright, I just had to quickly check to see how this one even works, I just haven't ever done it. Oh, this is really easy. Okay. Alright, and then I need one more thing. And let me take a ML sheet for later. Yeah, I can pick up my duct tape again. Now that I know that gods can just walk in there. Uh, I realise it's not actually as safe as I thought it would be. I'm just gonna try it. Like a bit of a crazy idea. What if I literally just tried and dig behind the room itself? So like, yeah, we've got the fence. Is it actually gonna be possible? Mm, probably not actually. I'll oh, probably need critters at least because I don't think this can dig that far. Now I was thinking that cutting the fence would probably be my, a better idea. But now I realise I've got to also turn off the generator because of that. And that itself won't be a problem. But I uh, don't know where the generator is. Here's the generator but it's behind the red key door. So turning off the generator is not an option. Which means I can't cut the fence. Which means it's back to plan A of digging. What if I just dig straight? So like, do it all in one. One stage shovel couldn't do it. But I get loads of sheets of metal. Sturdy. Two stage shovels. Do I need the timber brakes? I think because they're usually for like tunnels. And when they like start getting too long then you have to use them. I don't usually dig that far where I usually need to use timber braces but it might help just to have one anyway. Two timber. Alright, we're here. Well, I didn't get to check everywhere. But I did get a few useful things. And it's enough to get a timber brace. Which is here. Go. Just go for it. Uh, well, not ideal. 
I also forgot I would need energy. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. This is very bad. Wait. Sure. Sure. Uh, just so stealthy. <laughs> I definitely deserve to be caught there. Yep, Tim Brace. I did think that'd happen. Wait, the electric goes into the ground. It, that doesn't make any sense at all. Where doesn't this electric fence route? So everywhere I seem to try and go will probably have a key. Well, will require a key. Does anyone go left? No. None of them have gone this way. So what if I got a pickaxe, broke through the wall, and then dug under here? Uh, I am shocked you didn't spot me. Their range actually isn't that big, is it? <laughs> Alright, so I've basically almost gone through the whole night. I might as well just wait until morning and then just continue from there. <laughs> It'll be safer. Okay, so it counts as me not attending the light set, but it doesn't give me any heat because the bed dummy, so that's fine. But now we're good to go again. Oh yes. Bit to me, thank you. You saved me. Watch out, probably gonna be. Oh, that's a that's a problem. Well, yeah. I think this one's over. <laughs> well, at least we have a better idea of what we're doing there. All right, let's try a new one. All right, that first attempt didn't start too well. I guess the new plan. Hope that no one walks down here during lights out. I break through that wall, dig under there. Weird. Quite a few things there for me. I'll take it. Alright, 70 intellect, no problem. I think I want to get a multi tool, so that's uh, gonna take a bit of time. Okay, this prison is not being kind to me here. Literally nothing. I think it's about to be job time, there we go, got my mark for it. Now apply for the job. Alright, I've got three mail sheets. I think I only need two, but I will grab one extra. Band gun here, contraband pouch. Luckily I already have a um, roll of foil. Just need to wait for, you know, duct tape to turn up. Oh, a mail sheet, but I don't need it, I'm just gonna leave it there. Duct tape there and timber. Okay, time to run now. That was very lucky. I didn't get to check all the desks unfortunately, so that's kind of a waste, but I still used up that day pretty well, I think. So now I need to work on a sturdy pickaxe. So I've got a favour, which is crafty, and I need to make a baseball bat. But it requires two timber and duct tape. So I'm just going to grab all three of those and then keep the stuff. Now this prison is taking me a while and it probably could have been faster if I, you know, had tested like the escape methods but I thought that was kind of boring. Could have been much more prepared. You know, having, making sure all the escapes work now I could have skipped trying to like, escape out through the blacksmith area. Because I basically just come up with like how I could probably escape without gaining any heat. Some of the escapes are like fairly straightforward as in I just do the escape normally. Like, there is no... I don't need to change much at all. Then other ones like this so I have to like really try something new. Because I always end up just doing the same thing over and over. It's fairly easy. Beat the bully. That's got, that's got duct tape in it got three duct tape now, I will need one more, but I can craft uh, my contraband pouch. There's a crowbar, but uh, near. Okay, uh, how much is the crowbar? 80. I'll give you 20, and can we shake on it? Actually 10. Can we shake on 10? Perfect. Alright, flimsy pickaxe. Did I check the, cell, like, the desk in my cell? 
I didn't, there's the duct tape. Lightweight. Sturdy. Now I just need duct tape. A single duct tape is stopping me at the moment. Like I wouldn't even mind just buying a duct tape off of someone. I hate checking the cells though downstairs because of it being like in a such a generally popular area for guards. I checked one desk there and there's two guards walking down already. I just need this guard to go literally anywhere else. Good enough for me. Duct tape. There it is. Perfect stuff. Alright, got my mark for roll call. It's time. I've got my contraband pouch. I picked up a, a bar of chocolate, two cans of soda, got my moi tool. Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. There's a camera. Yeah, uh. Nah, I'm not risking it with the camera. Now I need a duct tape to deal with the camera. So now I've still gotta wait longer. We'll just go with this stuff. You aren't gonna bother me now, are you? Alright, I think I'm okay to do that. It came back on already. Okay. Sure. Nope, no, that's fine. Just pretend like that didn't happen. Too tired, that's fine. Prepared for this. Yep, just drink that. Right. Okay. And that's only Prism 1 in this video. Damn it. Now I want you to know as well, my controller started doing the flashing thing that it does when there's a lockdown. So they must have spied it after I escaped. Area 17 in a prison with no serious problems. All we have to do is escape as an alien in a well guarded area. This prison shouldn't be too bad. So I already have an idea for this prison. And I've probably got the best cell that I could probably ask for. This one on the right on the lower floor. Probably the best one because I want to escape out of that um, down, going down those stairs there. So either this one or that one would be nice. So I'm gonna break my prison wall, replace with a poster, so then when I'm ready, run down the stairs here, go through this into this room, dig up some past the electric fence here and break this wall. Should we all be able to be done using just a sturdy pickaxe? I'm not gonna need any specific job here, I could probably just use the money, so Probably gonna grab my free mini and keep getting my intellect up. Two things I can think of which are a problem on this one. The routine is a uh, pretty randomish. You have a lot of shower time, but showers is like off in the corner of the prison. So if I'm at the cell area and it goes to shower time, I have to run down these stairs, run all the way across here, up these stairs into the shower room here all before it reaches like 20 minutes past the hour. The cells do cause a bit of a problem here. They have windows at the back meaning guards can see through while walking around the outside. So I have to be more careful when checking this. This, that. Don't come in here. So I managed to get a crowbar. So that's uh, for the first bit of the pickup. There are only 8 cells, which means that's way less desk for me to search, meaning it's more difficult to get the stuff I need. So I'm not going to be able to get everything I need just like this, so I'm going to need to do a ton of quests. Oh, come on, please hurry up. Oh, yep. That was not nice. Delivery driver. Perfect at shower time. What is this thing, mate? So far down here. Okay, deliver cake. I can do that. There you go. Enjoy that cake. Alright, let me take that file off you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna need one more timber, I just realised, I think. Oh no, no, I have enough. Flimsy pickaxe there. 
one duct tape short, I think, and then everything else I have. Alright, I'm gonna need bed dummy. Not other people selling things like giving out duct tape. Okay, you didn't have to do that, did you? Luckily, when someone attacks me, it doesn't give me any heat. I guess I rejected that guy's um, quest too many times. They got pretty angry. I could have done this on a day one escape if I just had the duct tape, but it's not worth it now. And we'll probably be able to escape on this day. There we go, there's the duct tape. And a sturdy pickaxe. I'm used to this routine now. If I don't know what's coming up, it's probably shower time. Okay, I want to make sure that no one's going to be nearby. But you decide that you're going to come down there. Alright, I'm going to go for it. Alright. Then the moment I break it, just place the pair of stuff. Not going to do anything else, just place the pair of stuff. Like so. And that's all I want to do at the moment. Right, it's time. And there it is. Energy drink, I don't know if I'll need it, for sure. If then we can go in the bed. And then, pretty much no guards around. So, nice, quick and easy to do. I'm running here and I'm good to go. Because I don't think God should check this room. Alright, let's go. I was about to pop up, but luckily, uh, I know there'd be a God there. And then just to make sure that the spotlight doesn't get me. Okay, I'm outside of its range. And just like that. The final transport prison is Air Force Con. There are two solo escapes available, but the one I'm doing involves parachuting out of the plane. Okay, I need cover and three lots of rope. Well, I can take that. Yeah, I was about to just run out of my cell and just start, just run for it. But I was, uh, can't do that. Gotta be stealthy. I uh, don't think any of that's necessary at all. One rope. Right, I'm making use of the wall that's in between these. Alright, being stealthy. Going well. Who's above? There's a god there. We're gonna go for it. Which way are you going? Perfect. I'm not getting good luck. You don't go in there. You do go in there. Hello, medics. I don't usually check your desk, but, you know, good job I did. I was under the impression that I wouldn't, you know, I'd be wasting my time, but clearly I wasn't. One last rope, and that's all we need, and this one's done. Oh, okay. Yep, not gonna risk that one. Come on. It better be here. I'm, I don't want to have to go through the other floor as well. It isn't there. Great. Alright, now we're at the next floor. There it is. Okay. So, makeshift harness and the parachute. Alright, and should be able to just go up here. And right here, let's go. Just like that. 
I like how there's even a guard right there. He just pays no attention. <laughs> Yep, that's always a nice and easy one to do. What should be the hardest prison in the game actually has a very simple escape. The robot guards the contraband detectors and overall difficult layer to the USS Anomaly should make things complicated. However, by climbing through one vent, I can escape this prison. All I need is a screwdriver and stokers to cut through the fences in the vent and we're out. Right, I've got my 60 into it, now it's just grabbing the things from desk. Now, looting desk has two problems, but one of them I can deal with. The first problem is the cameras in every cell, but if I move the desk closer to the cell door, I can access it outside of the camera's range and avoid detection. The other problem comes from the cells being fully see-through. If guards are around the outside and I'm within range, they can spot me searching the desk without being anywhere near the cell. Flimsy curse. This is taking a while, so now I'm just going to have to start doing a bunch of favours to get money and buy things off inmates. Usually this is when I can buy things off people, but that's not going to be the case here because they're contraband detectors, so I'm kind of stuck. Not too bad of a day, I guess. Oh, it's free time. Oh, right. There's one free time, and then it goes to lights out. Right, nice. File. Need one more file and two duct tape. Oh, you have duct tape, but you have a low opinion. People have so poor opinions. There we go. Duct tape. Probably best not to craft a stay one straight away and, like, save the durability. Another duct tape. Beautiful. Well, there it is. Do I have a screwdriver? I don't even have a screwdriver. <laughs> I've, I've realised uh, I've been focusing too much on like the fence bits inside the vents, but not actually on dealing with the vent itself. I'm sure there was a screwdriver around. Yeah, there is. Perfect. <laughs> I'm feeling it like straight away. Yeah, okay. Should be job. Yeah, there we go. Alright, time to start escaping. And then going through here. Hopefully they don't spot this broken vent. Well, broken fence. Alright, and then they use this one. Alright, one more on this one. Okay, and now craft into a sturdy. Reset that. And they run for it. Perfect. Just like that. Now we would be done with this challenge, however there are two Christmas themed prisons that are part of the main set prisons and the first is Santa's Shakedown. I couldn't decide between the solo escape or the prim to break it, so I attempted to just gather stuff for both of them and see which one we got the most stuff for. So basically for the prim to break it one, I literally just near a shovel I think. And we'll go with that. So that's just the regular stuff. The single player ones where things get a bit more interesting. Uh, make a mince pie. I also then near get a pretend carrot. And a bowl of milk, and also a letter Santa, which I need to make from a letter and a Christmas list. Alright, there's a pastry case, that's for the mince pie, and the handkerchief will go towards the pretend carrot. There is only one item that I need that I can't just find in regular desk, and that is a letter. I can only find a letter from the guard area by looking in their desk. Which is going to make things a lot more difficult if I try and do that. Right, there's an orange pen. Right, I think I've got everything I need for the pretend carrot. I just need to get the intellect. Let me craft this pretend carrot. So I managed to start with a green pen. That was good. So I found an orange pen. Mixed with a handkerchief. We get a pretend carrot. That's one of the things we need. 
Oh, there's a Christmas slice. That's one of the things for the later Santa. And I should take the sheet of mail just in case. Good take timber. Alright, bear hurry down to exercise. Craft the tool handle. And then a flimsy shovel. Let's see, so we're making progress on both of them. Alright, there's another sheet of mail. So overall this prison is kind of small. It's just everything split onto like the two floors. Alright, duct tape and a jar of mints. Alright, well now I've got all the stuff I need for a stay shovel, so I guess I can just go for that now. Alright, just got a bit more until it to go and then we're all ready for the escape. Except from one thing. Of course, we're gonna need a bed dummy. Alright, let's get crafting then. I have a lightweight shovel into our sturdy shovel. And okay, that's all the crafting done. I guess we're ready to go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's get our things out. Put a bed dummy in. Roll call. And there you go, so I before it gets the lights out, go the purple doors over here. I just basically want to just chill out here. And, you know, hope this god leaves eventually. Uh, this god doesn't really bother me at the moment. See, I can't go through this wall for some reason. Otherwise I would have thought like Gengar Pickaxe would have been so much easier. Or even just a crowbar might have done it. Just need to keep an eye on where they all are. But I think I should be okay for now. <sighs> You're gonna be a bit awkward aren't you? Okay they're going up there. Alright I'm gonna go for it. I don't really know what's happening above me. I hope it's okay. Come on we're almost done. Okay, it was okay. They went inside. I was wondering why it isn't letting me leave and I was walking into a tree. <laughs> and that leaves us with one prison left. The second Christmas prison and our final prison is Snow Eye. How am I going to escape this one? We've done this trial and we've done a lot of different escapes. It's just going to be a problem to break it. And it's not even an exciting one. I'm literally just gonna dig like here and go out. <laughs> but all I want is a stay shovel, so as long as I get the stuff for that, we're set. And so far, I'm getting pretty lucky. Time to grind the last of our intellect. Now I don't know if I'll be able to get everything I need for a stay shovel easily, so best to get the money just in case I need it. There is a 60 intellect. And searching the desk on this one, they're not even that bad. Okay, well, my uh, my own compartment's full, so I'm gonna have to like start crafting some things. There we go, guy, flimsy shovel. Anything else? Nothing over this portion. That's fine. Nothing there. Nothing here. Still nothing. Nope. Oh, there's a uh, Mel she at least. And duct tape. Okay. Just one duct tape away from being out of this prison. Probably the thing we've crafted the most, maybe? A bit dummy. Baseball bat. That oh, is duct tape. Oh, there it is. Just like that. And there. Have a stay shovel. Yeah, I felt the favour. That doesn't matter to me. I'm leaving anyway. And I think with that, we're good to escape. Just gotta wait for the night. We're almost done with the challenge. It seems very possible. Throw the bed to me in. Head over to roll call. I'm planning to even dig over this side. Why? But these areas seem to be a lot more popular with guards compared to over this side. Because the way that it is, 
a perfect example right here. Guys just kind of turn off anyway and go a different way. It's fine. There it is. I uh, guess we get to say goodbye then. We're leaving this place. Is it fitting that we're like digging air as a final escape? I feel like there could have been so much more that we could have done. But we ended up going back to one of the most reliable ways. It's basically at the edge of the map, but oh well. And that's that. We leave. And now is it. Can you beat the escapist too? Without gaining any heat at all? Yes you can. And that's the final one. It is possible to beat the escapist too without gaining heat. It was a very fun challenge to do and there are probably plenty of faster methods of escaping than what I did so I highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did remember to like and subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss another video and I'll see you next time.